Hello, hello, hello. My name is Joda, and welcome to episode 3 of Copper to Diamond. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, the main focus of this episode is on the progress that I've made since episode 2. While I'm still ranked Copper 1, what you'll see throughout this video is that I have made a lot of progress as far as being able to aim, actually get kills, and win more matches because of a couple of hours worth of practice using some of the custom matches that you can set up inside the game. Now I mentioned in the last episode that one of the big things I've been trying to do is incorporate other operators into my gameplay. In this episode specifically, I've been trying to introduce myself to different loadouts for each of the character's weapons in order to sort of broaden my horizons and see what I am best with. So without further ado, let's get started. In this first clip you're going to see me trying one of the strategies that I was also trying to do in the last episode and that is to go in from the opposite side of the objective as my teammates are. What I've noticed that this allows me to do is to sneak up behind the enemy while they're distracted by four or usually three other people and it allows me to get not necessarily free kills but certainly some easier kills than I would otherwise have if I was trying to take the enemy head on like the rest of my teammates are. The second thing that you'll notice here is that I'm really trying to focus on checking all my corners and doorways while being aimed in at exactly where somebody would peek from because this allows me to be closer to actually being able to shoot them if somebody There's does no peek a doorway as I'm starting to walk through the door. Now as you can probably tell my movements are not necessarily the most fluid yet. I'm still working on getting the hang of how to maneuver this game effectively. In this case, sneaking up behind the enemy works very well as it would get second to last kill here and help my team get the win. One thing that I've started realizing is more and more true is that it is easiest to get kills in Rainbow Six if you are approaching your opponent from a direction that they do not know you're coming from. So whether that means going into the objective from a different direction from the rest of your team, or whether that means sneaking up on your opponent, whatever it is, it is always easiest to get the kill if they don't know where you're at. And that may be the dumbest thing you've ever heard a YouTuber say, but it is very, very true as you'll see in this clip. I take a very similar strategy in this round where I see my teammates going in on one door and I try to help them out there and then it doesn't work out very well. You can tell it's very well covered so we move around to another one and then finally I flank back to the first door and it ends up paying off pretty well. Another really big goal of mine has been to get my death number down. So regardless of how many kills I get, I want to die less each game. And one of the easiest ways that I've seen to do that is just simply play the game a little more cautiously. And that's what I do right here. Once I get the first two kills, my team goes in, they start planting. I decide, you know, I should run in there and I should help support. Heck no, bruh. I see one teammate off to my left covering the stairs coming down to the objective, which means I know pretty much the only way they're going to come in is straight behind me exactly where I came in from. Now I will be the first to admit that I do get a little bit lucky here, I saw the tip of the gun peak so I was able to round the corner really easily and get the shots off without ever being suspected. We finished the match 4-2 and two, and I was very very happy with how I played. Down to 15 seconds. Last one, I'm pretty sure it's Kelly. Op 4 eliminated, mission successful. The next few clips really illustrate how well I'm starting to work with the teammates I have as well as how much I'm starting to use my drones to really see what I'm going into before I go into a situation. This also has really dramatically helped me decrease the amount of deaths I have as well as know where people are so I increase my kill rate as well. What you see in there, Smurf? You are clear to go in.
That's cap can. Oh, sorry, I crashed for a second there. Now, what you just saw there is another thing I'm trying to work on, which is to actually be ready to shoot when I peek a corner in case I see somebody there. He was waiting for somebody to come up the stairs, but I was ready for him before he was. Unfortunately, we really just played this round way too slow. We tried to get in there and we played it very carefully and very safe, but we weren't able to get in in time to either plant the bomb because our guy with the diffuser was way off in jack squat nowhere, and we weren't able to eliminate all of the uh, opponents before the time was up. Like I mentioned earlier, I wouldn't call what I'm having right now success, but if it is, droning is the reason for that. I'm able to see my enemies before I get into a room and know where they're at so that I have a better chance of taking Ooh, them Oh, there is a turret hit. The other really important part of this clip that I really wanted to show you guys is how important it is to call out when you die, who you died to, and where you died at. Because our diffuser was taken down in a doorway that was very easily exposed from the safe. And because my teammate called out when he was shot and where he was shot from, I was able to go back, get the kill, take the diffuser, and win the round ultimately uh, solely because of that call out. Covering your plan. Bomb diffusion initiated. Protect the <laughs> nice. GG. Op four neutralized.
Again in this clip you see me taking the same strategy where I start with my teammates and then I run around the end and I try to come in through a different vantage point so that I can attack the enemy where they're not expecting it. Fortunately for me I had the heads up awareness to recognize the fact that when one teammate goes down we have three pinged, one's already dead. That means the three that were left are all on site so I am clear no matter what to go all the way to site um, to attack them from a different direction. Now I'll be the first to admit that it didn't really help very much this round because my teammate was really carrying us and they did a fantastic job at getting us the win before I even had the chance to, but I felt like it was still worth showing because it was a very good strategy and heads up awareness play. Now this clip I'm putting in for one very important reason and that is why I love playing Capkin so much. As you can see I died to Ash very very quickly, however once we get back around to the end of the round I get my Sophia, redemption because she dies uh, to a Capkin mine that I put up in just a completely this random location and she wasn't paying attention. Hey I got a kill there at the end. There's no way. So as you can tell from this video so far, I've been doing a lot better as far as keeping my awareness up, keeping my deaths down, and trying to hold angles and find places where I can protect my body and still get kills at the exact same time. This clip is the exact opposite of that. Totally did not see Dokubi, had broken the window that I was just crawling right next to, and they get an easy death from it. On A. Friendly last operator standing. They cleared a blast zone. This was by far my favorite clip that I have had from Rainbow Six so far just because I found such a good place to hide and I was able to do so well at the end of the round. I think I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of this. If you guys would please subscribe, like, and leave me a comment as to how you think I, I can improve either there. the video quality, the content I'm creating, or my gameplay in Rainbow Six. That would be very much appreciated. Uh, but as for me, Joda out. Which is outside castle. Yeah. Bruh. It's he has me living hate. Lucky could get her, she's just looking through. She went outside, she went outside again. Thank you.